I'm Chris from Penrose Outdoors. Welcome back to another one of our product reviews. Um, today we're going to be looking at one of our newest brands into the store. Uh, it's called Robins. They're a Danish brand. They've been making tents for years and years. They focus on their sort of high quality materials. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at the Robin Starlight 2. The Robin Starlight 2 is a, a lightweight adventure tent certainly not in the top end of the of the market but it sort of basically features in and around where the tent we reviewed last week which is the banshee 300. so this is the starlight 2 packed up you can see straight away that it's pretty compact perfect for traveling with or going bike touring or just general backpacking uh, it's going to fit in your panniers it's going to fit in your rucksack without taking up too much room the actual tent itself in pack size is 56 centimeters. The weight of it's 2.2 kilograms, so I'm, you know, barely, barely feels like you're holding anything really. Obviously, you can go a lot lighter under a kilo, but for for a tent that sort of weight, you'd be paying sort of up above 300 pounds, I would suggest. This is coming in at 129 pounds, so for weight to price ratio, it's you know, it, it's, it is a very good value. So it does come with its own dry bag pack it's a roll top one so you can literally just roll it up it's fully taped on the inside so it's not going to let any water in ideal if you're going kayak touring or bike touring and it's going to be getting wet the tent's not going to end up soaking wet when you get out get it out of the back okay so the tent pretty much pitches straight out of the bag the inner tent is connected to the outer tent uh, and then to keep the weight down it literally just has one central pole um, that connects onto the tent via some clips and then it has four corner accessory poles that we'll see in a minute um, just to give it a bit of height so it's literally just one long section with a bit of an angled pre-bent pole in the middle there so just unroll it find the doors and you can see the clips there that we're going to be clipping this middle pole to and then you can see these corner accessory poles the idea with those poles is they just give a little bit more room um, at the foot and head section of the tent so the poles go into these little um, holders on both sides same again on that side you can tension them up as well and then using these cool little clips we just clip straight onto and that is literally it. I'm quite sure how it's standing up. So just peg it out with our uh, floor pegs, carpet pegs. These are all totally adjustable as well, these bits, so you can tension it well if it's windy. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some of the more specific features to the tent now. The actual uh, fabric this tent's made out of is a 75 denier polyester, so nice and tough. Um, you can see it's got this sort of pattern running through it as well. That's just an embossed fabric. It's not a ripstop, it's just a paint over. Um, the actual fabric itself is 5,000 hydrostatic head. So in terms of water pressure on it, it's gonna take five meters before it's gonna start leaking. So very waterproof. All of the, uh, the actual seams are taped as well. So if you, if you take a closer look, you can see that there's taping behind any seam. Obviously stitch markings are a weak point in the tent. So they, they, they make sure they tape all that so there's no water getting through. The poles themselves are aluminium, 8.5 mil. So compared to something like fiberglass, they're gonna last a lot longer. They're not likely to snap. Um, and if, if anything does happen to them, then they are easily replaceable. 
They also pack down a lot smaller than fiberglass poles because they've got those big ferrules on. So they just literally snap into themselves. So you can get a, a smaller pack size. All of the details in it as well, uh, just looking at it, it looks the business. Like you've got these thin, really thin, but strong guy lines. All of the webbing down here that you tension on are all sort of intricacy. The detail on it is really, really good. Uh, sort of little pulleys, um, good buckles, uh, stay in place well. Um, the things that the pole goes into as well, nice and strong and solid. Um, it just, it all looks very well made. There's plenty of ventilation as well. Um, you've got the two um, bits back and front here that allow for a good throw, fl uh, through flow of air. And then down at the feet and the head as well, there's bits that you can open up and again, just make sure there's plenty of airflow, airflow through the tent, um, just taking away the condensation. You, do, you don't want to, with such a small space, you will get a, a build up of condensation. One of Roban's key features as well on the tent, you've got this little bit of guy line that you can wrap around uh, and keep it when it is windy, wrap around and keep the tent nice and close to the pole, give it a bit more stability. It's just a little feature that they've added that not many people know, around, know about. So keep bear that in mind if it does get windy. Um, we're gonna look inside the tent now. Um, gonna open it up. There's another little sort of added feature there. They've got sort of nice little toggles on the end of all the zips. They're all aluminium zips as well, um, open from the inside and the outside. Um, roll that up there's a toggle point there the toggles they use as well are unbreakable they haven't got sort of the spring in it they're just a, a secure piece of plastic there so if you did step on it it's not just going to break easily they're sort of thinking about everything here um, the inner tent is a, a breathable polyester um, with sort of mesh and mesh panels in there again to allow a bit more air, air through um, and then the door itself has got a bit of mesh lining and then that can just tuck away in the pocket so you're not spending time toggling it up. Ground sheet, 10,000 hydrostatic head. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of pressure when you're lying on it so it has to be sort of doubled in, in value so nothing's gonna leak through that. Again, it's all taped. Um, the inner tent's a breathable polyester. Um, just to, again, make sure that the uh, condensation isn't building up in there. Um, yeah let's get inside so again like the last video i'm only five foot eight so i'm not the tallest of people but as a whole i reckon sort of talking you'll be comfortable easily at six foot and these poles just help to lift the tent up where the head and the toes are um just to give it a bit more room so we reviewed the banshee a couple of weeks ago um and they didn't have that so you would find maybe if you were a little bit sort of taller that you're, you're a bit sort of claustrophobic around the head area plenty of uh, little features in here so you can undo the zip there to to allow for airflow again there um, and at the feet and then there's just some nice little accessory pockets there that you can put your your valuables in um, yeah and uh, also a nice little uh, gear cord here that we can hang stuff off if you've got a light yeah, it's full of little features that you don't find in a lot of these tents at that, this sort of price, which I think is, is really good value for money. Okay, thanks for watching our uh, product review on the Robin Starlight 2. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and learned a lot about it. If you want to know anything more about the tent itself, then visit our website at penroseoutdoors.co.uk. Uh, it's got all the specifications and the price on there. Uh, and if you want to look at any of our other product reviews, we've actually been doing some sort of two, three man adventure tents. We did the Banshee 300 last week. We've got plans to do a few more. Uh, if, it's some, if it's something you're in the market for, then, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and you should see a few more in the future. Um, again, thanks for watching and have a good day.